You know what, I think we ought to all just take a moment to enjoy this peaceful music. But then again, that's not what you're here for. Hey everyone, welcome to Vault White Part 6. Uh, what did we do last time? We got to the city that looks like, where the houses look like miniature barns. And what do you, ooh look, a guitar player. I play the guitar and I have Pokemon Bows every day. I keep doing that because I enjoy it. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. They... They all look like barns to me, so... I'm stuck with a really damaged team that I did not have the sense to go heal yet, and I'll probably do that later. And... Uh, later means right now, so I'm gonna go heal before we go into our museum. Fun fact! Did you know that this thing on Rog and Rolla is actually his ear and not his eye? In that case, I wonder how he sees. Or maybe he doesn't see. I don't know. It really doesn't make sense. Rog and Rolla is just a moving rock that does not have any eyes or ear. Or it has one ear whatsoever. And somehow, the amazing researchers of Pokemon were able to pinpoint a gender on it. Lovely Nintendo logic. Nacreen City, Pokemon Gym, Leader Lenora. She's an archaeologist, and that is why the gym is technically a museum. So, let's go in and get ambushed by a creepy guy with green hair who can talk to Pokemon and uh, like the baseball cap. I want to see things that no one can see. This is normal introduction. Maybe I ought to try that. Maybe I ought to try to introduce... Maybe I ought to try that kind of introduction one time. The truths of Pokemon inside Pokeballs, the ideals of how trainers should see. In a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Yeah, sure, why not? I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. And we battle N, who's an important trainer, I think. That guy whose mom decided to name him one letter, I don't know, whatever. For some reason it fits him. Kind of. So, he will start off with a Drill Burr level 19 and a Bronzor level 19 also. And I don't have the move sets yet again, but I'll probably. I have their abilities and they're probably. They're not probably. They are going to be posted on the sidebars. And meanwhile, I shall battle this guy. You know what? I don't get. And why is it that. You have, oh, you always have new Pokemon every time we battle you. Do you just like put your other Pokemon in a PC and then leave them there? Okay, well, now we know Bronzor has Levitate, but I called the Drober Hat Dig, so Magnitude actually beat him. Seriously, what does happen to the Pokemon like that? Uh, he raises. And Vulpix's drought makes the sun harsh for no reason. The logic. Now, unfortunately, Bronzor is very defensive, and I really don't have a Pokemon that has super offensive moves against him because I don't have a fire type yet. And I'm still not complete. Well, okay. Pansir doesn't count. I'm not using him, so. Aside from Pansir, I really don't have a fire type I could use. Wow, that did so much damage considering it was supposed to do, like, double damage. And why do you use Roll Up? And come on, don't be like Team Plasma. Why are you using Brock Blast on Rog and Rolla? Well, wait. I will figure this out. Well, then again, it wouldn't have made a difference because I did use U-turn. But the smart thing, at least I think the smart thing, would have been to holy shoot that did no damage. Oh, this is good. This is bad news. Well, so that Bronzor can take pretty much everything I have to t throw at it. I have Magnitude 8. I'm an idiot because I forgot that it can affect Dewat as well, but it didn't do that much damage, so that's a good thing. It's bittersweet, and it's... I don't know. My Pokemon are suffering out of my stupidity. And you got a Temple. Where do you get all these Pokemon? They're not even around here at this point of time. 
Speaking of which, that's the same thing I have to say to Sharon. How in the world did you get a freaking rog and roll up before you got to the cave? Because last I checked, you came from- Oh, shoot. Whoa. Whoops. And I'm confused, and I'm hurting myself, and I'm probably gonna lose because I'm extreme- Okay. Bad news. Very bad news. Please tell me I have some luck on me. Oh yeah, hit two times. Of course, when you get double slap, you can hit me millions of times. Even though it's called double slap, and when I try to hit you once, I can't hit you at all. Why do I... Why does this always happen to me? Gosh! Oh... Uh, what have you got to do? Just... Crystal... Thinks. And, uh... I think I forgot to mention in the end of the last video that we caught Crystal. So, whoops in advance. Hopefully Deagle can actually do something because I'm really, I'm, I might actually lose this really badly. Just, just judging from the looks. And oh yeah, sunny day. No wonder Razor Shell is doing like nothing. Well, hopefully these ought to do, these attacks ought to do something. Now. Can't believe I didn't realize that. Sunny Day, like, it halves, since it, like, halves your water type and ice type attacks, it can't. Razor Shell does nothing on something as defenses of his Bronzor. I don't want to learn Twister because Twister sucks. It's the worst Dragon type move in the game. And. Wow, why is your Zoroa on the back when it has Illusion? I don't know. I have so many questions I'm asking you right now for no good reason, so. Just let me ask you, just let me ask, let me ask a pixelated character who can't, who obviously can't answer me. Well, uh, I forgot how to speak, I kind of forgot how to speak English just a little bit, so I can't really complete that sentence. But it's okay, because everyone likes, everyone likes people playing games and commenting and seeming like they're talking to themselves, because otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. Or other Let's Play videos, right? Right? Oh wait, I'm talking to myself. Whoops, I knew that. Now I know what power I need, Reshiram. The legendary Pokemon that along with the hero created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero. You and I will be friends. That is creepy, okay? You don't just walk up to a legendary and say- and want to be its friend, right? Right? Oh wait, I'm talking to myself again. Let's go heal up before we go into the gym. Uh, why this? Why is it called Nacrine City? It doesn't look like a city. But then again, I think we'll realize that once we get to the next city. So hopefully, no one will jump out and ambush us this time. So let's walk into the museum, and we walk in here. And Mr. Scientist guy, phew, whenever I'm fascinated, I, whenever I look at the skeleton, I'm fascinated. Welcome, I'm Hawes. The assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. I guess the theory is it had an accident while flying around the world, so it became a fossil. Well, I guess no one in Unova is interested in museums. This rock is amazing. It's a meteorite. That's actually important. Oh, this is an important... Wait. Wow, that made sense! Wow! <laughs> museums... <laughs> They take regular stones like, oh look, a pretty stone, let's put it in a museum! Mate, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh wait, so the gym leader's your wife? That's cool. Uh, let's actually read this because I don't think I gave this much thought. A plate with an unknown script carved into it. A mask that ancient people wear at festivals. That is very creepy. That could be like a Pokemon Joker or something. And bones that were once carried as weapons by a certain Pokemon. I wonder what Pokemon carries bones. Hey, it's Marowak. Who said that? Oh, wait. And okay, I'll stop being completely weird and actually talk about something that might matter into the game. Well, if you have Deoxys, this is how you change its form. You have it in your party, you talk to this meteor- Um, no, okay, um, not that weird that I talk to meteorites, but you press A and interact with the meteorite, it'll change its form. That's how it- that's how it works. 
and just make sure my party's correct. It is. We walk into the actual gym that's concealed behind a museum, and we meet our favorite stalker kind of guy named Clyde. A Pokemon gym where a leader waits at the back of the museum. It has a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So I'll give this to you. Oh, uh, I obtained a fresh water. All trainers in this gym use normal type Pokemon. Just between you and me, normal type Pokemon are weak against fighting type Pokemon. All around here, fighting po type Pokemon show up around Pinwheel Forest. Now I'll explain about the gym itself. In this gym, you if you answer questions hidden in books, you can move forward. For your information, the first book is nice to, nice to meet you Pokemon. If you don't know where it is, please ask anyone. Okay. Well, I guess... Behind this gym is a library, and just as he said, we have to look for books for clues to find the gym leader. So, we're playing an interesting game of hide-and-seek. And... you. I hang around Nacrine Gym all the time. People call me Bookworm. Now, I warn you, I'm strong because I spend the entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. Uh... And you wondered if po if you wondered what if trainers and people have a life in Pokemon, well, here's your answer. It's a pretty good answer. Well, hopefully I don't lose because well, I don't think I can lose, but then again, this is my weakest Pokemon and I am going against it. I am going against an Apom and Apoms are really bad. And Crystal has an un as an unhealthy habit of flinching every almost all the time. Like when I in one of the last battles that I cut out in last episode, uh, it got bitten a bunch of times, and well, it flinched every single time. You know what? Wait a minute. First off, how do you bite a rock? Second off, how do you astonish a rock with no eyes? Game, please explain to me where you come up with these things. Rock Blast! I am throwing rocks at your face. Where these rocks are coming from, you shall never know. And I know, I'm such... I love moves that hit two to five times, especially since I always get, like, twice and then it stops. And then when an enemy uses something like Double Slap or Fury Swipes or Bullet Seed or whatever, I end up suffering because it hits five times or four times every single time. And I said times a lot of times in this few sentences. I will stop saying times and just karate chop this snubble that's coming out. Yeah, er... Uh, if you're... This gym leader is pretty darn hard. Like, very hard. You know what? I have a question to those of you who are actually watching this video and know anything about this. Now... I've always heard, I've heard a lot of things about people doing Nuzlocke runs and all this Nuzlocke randomizer, whatever stuff. So, supposedly in a Nuzlocke, your Pokemon dies when it faints, and you are forced to release it. So, does that mean that if you all your Pokemon die, that you lose the entire game? Or do you just have to keep catching other Pokemon? Or do you just keep catching new Pokemon until... Until, like... I don't know, until you can actually beat the gym leader. I don't know how it works. I was just wondering if anyone could shed some light on that. And this is exactly what I mean. Look at that double slap. It hit five times. Again. And he's gonna send out a Lick of Tongue. The incredibly slow, creepily Pokemon. But then again, a lot of Pokemon creepy. But this Pokemon is, uh... Well, it's... It's fat. It's big-ish. It has it, it sticks its tongue out like that for no apparent reason. Okay, but I love the 3D model for Lickitung. It's just funny because it it pole vaults itself off its tongue it, to attack. It, so I don't know. It's just it's just something I find amazing. I find really funny. So, uh, now we are done with that, we are now stuck with a bunch of books that we have to look for. So, nice to meet you Pokemon should be right here. St if my character can move in a straight line, instead of acting like a Zigzagoon. Nice to meet you Pokemon, do you want to read this book? It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He's with a small brown Pokemon. Okay, first off, how is that a fairy tale? I met a Pokemon for the first time in my life in the first episode of this. 
Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now, this is the first question. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is the bookshelf on a bookshelf in the middle row. This clue is a lie because it's still based off the fact that in the original black and white, we this guy does not have an Apom. This guy has a Pat Rat. So the first Pokemon that we act technically met in this gym is a Pat Rat. So if you went here in the bookshelf for Pokemon, the biology of Pat Rat. Do you want to read this book? I sure don't, but I don't have no choice, so I'll read it anyway. It describes the biology of a pat rat. They communicate with each other by the movements of their tails. A pat rat raises its tail when it sees an enemy. There is a memo on the back of the book cover, or book cover, I think. As I thought, the question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Flame burns inside its body, and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is, what is this book? The hint? Someone might be reading it. No! Considering the majority, there are two people... We've already covered two bookshelves. These hints are so helpful. Mm-hmm, I see. Oh, did you find the memo? Come here to look for this book. What does the memo say? Flame burns inside its body and gives off smoke from its head while it runs. I'm reading a book called The Structure of a Locomotive. Is this book the correct answer? Sure, of course, it's a train. That's exactly how a locomotive looks. Well, I'll let you read this book, but before that, it would be great for my research if we had a Pokemon battle. Yeah, of course it's great for your research. Return a book to a shelf after reading. That is the rule when you read a book. Now here's my question. This scientist had a Smeargle that used Aerial Blast. And if we were battling this angle, these two bookshelves shouldn't exist. In fact, most of this museum or library, since technically that's what it is, I would call it, should have been blown away because that is how powerful Aerial Blast is supposed to be. Well, I guess that's what you get when you face a Smeargle, since you can learn pretty much any single move you have, or in the game, I think. I'm sure, I don't, I don't know. Let's just say I'm right. That should help me. If you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? And it's on the bookshelf closer to the entrance than there. Okay. So, this is the only one? This is the bookshelf for children's books. Sweets for Pokemon. Do you want to read the book? Sure! It describes delicious sweets made by peating berries in a pot. There are sweets called poffins made from berries in the faraway Sinnoh region. The Pokemon love them. And, uh, whoa! There's a memo on the cover! No surprise there. Did you manage to get here without being tricked by question? Now this is the last question. From this bookshelf, move two backward, move one to the left, move two forward, move one to the right, and move one backward. Now where is it? Well... You could do this riddle and figure it out, or you could just walk over here and talk to the last person because this is the only bookshelf we haven't talked. Okay, I don't talk to bookshelves either. We could talk to this one person because he's the last one here. I'm wondering, did this? Did you see the last memo and come to me? Okay, I'll give you the last question. Can you challenge the book, the gym leader? If you win against me. Yeah, tee hee, that is correct. Well, here we go, trainer. You know what, through all this gym, I'd like to say one thing. I want to give a shout out to my lovely, resilient friend, Crystal. Because throughout this whole thing... Man, you know how many times she got double slapped? It was not fun getting slapped even though you're a rock without eyes. It describes the biology of Tepig. Flame burns its body and it gives off flame from its nostrils. When it's not well, it, gives off only, it can give off only smoke. There is a memo between the pages. You managed to get here. Well done. You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Gym Leader Lenora. Click. There's a switch under the book. And... What do you know? It's magic... It's your magical mystery bookshelf that moves to reveal stairs underneath it. And then here goes the obvious hidden text that tells us that there's a hidden staircase. We needed... We really needed that. So, I shall take a moment to heal up, so I will be right back into the special museum in a few moments. So, in about two seconds for you, for five minutes for me, I went ahead, healed, and restocked on some of my supplies. There's one thing I didn't do, and that is to save and check my team, so I'll do that right now. And I'll cut off my team, and thank God! That this gym isn't like the last one, because I swear, making the sidebars for that last gym was just... Oh my god, that's what happens when you have three gym leaders for one gym. 
Okay! Now, uh, sorry about that, because, yeah, I did leave for a moment, but I'm back now. So, welcome, the director of the Nakarin Museum and the Nakarin Gym Leader. Gym's Leader. It's me, Lenora. Of all the challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you've so lovingly raised. That is Lenora's introduction, let's move on to a battle. And so, she will give us this awkward pose, and we move on. She, it is a double battle, and she starts with a, with a double intimidate. Stantler, level 18, retaliate, hypnosis, disable, and extra sensory. Hurtier, intimidate again, retaliate, bite, helping hand, and charm. The reason I want to start with Deagle instead of, well, uh, what's it called? Wow, I forgot the name of my Dewan, I'm so sad. Razor Blade is because Deagle has, uh, oh my god, I'm just blanking out right now. Deagle has U-turn, so at any point of time I could just switch out and that would be fine. So this Herdier is gonna be a huge pain. Not only did it just... it has Helping Hand, that's one part of it. The second part, well, it has Charm, so it'll just completely destroy your attack. And unfortunately Lenora is smart and she did that, so Rock and Roll is probably not gonna see a lot of action, but... Just, you know what, I'm gonna use, I'll go ahead and use an item, why not? It's not like I have anything to lose. Thank you, uh, um, Clyde, for your generous donation. Well. So, okay, yeah, Crystal's drinking the fresh water! Doesn't have any mouth, doesn't have anything, it just somehow drinks it. But enough of me, kind of half laughing, half complaining, I think. I don't think I'm complaining. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, instead of me pointing out the funny logic stuff that Nintendo has, I'm just gonna U-turn switch out to Razor Blade and point out that this freaking thing- oh my god, whoops. Whoa. Okay, I have no idea what's going on inside. Uh, I'm trying- I'm going to karate shop this Herdier, and hopefully that should be the end of this troubling, because- Oh, please don't beat me. I, that would be really bad. Thank you for not beating me. I See, look at this. This, this is how annoying she is. I'm already have to use two items. Well, because I'm definitely not having Razor Blade faint at this battle because it is one of the most important battles for him. Oh, shoot. This fur. It has keen eye for its ability. Retaliate. Follow me. Thunderbolt and Revert Versal. Be warned. Luckily, Luckily for us, she has absolutely no items, except for her last two powerful Pokemon. And look at this, they're all level 18, and they have such amazing moves that they're giving me a hard time already. I am afraid because- oh wait, okay. I thought it would go- I thought it would go for the Thunderbolt, actually, because I am extremely slow- I know, shoot, it has extra sensory, why do I forget these minor details that really bother me? Actually, wait, they're not minor details, but okay. Oh, whoops, not back. Actually, yes, back. Yes, back. It, this whole battle seems to be just me trying to heal quickly rather than get my razor blade knocked out. Oh, the day once it learns Aqua Jet, that'll be very nice. And it did just what I was afraid of. Why can't you be stupid and use. Oh, whoa, that did nothing. But this is gonna do a lot. Why can't you just be stupid and do, like, follow me again? I mean, you know, that was a smart move, right? Okay, so Furt's down, and I'm still getting a ton of experience, and this battle is still going. Oh shoot, here's one hard Pokemon. Bulfalant, level 20. Yes, it is one of its her. It's one of her two very strong Pokemon. It has, I believe, Reckless for its ability. No, Sap Zipper. Do not use a Grass type move on this thing. Lucky thing is, I don't have a Grass type move, so um, that's a pretty good thing for me. Uh, it's holding a Citrus Berry. It has Retaliate, Aerial Ace, Rock Tomb, and Revenge. So this thing is dangerous, to say the least. And wow, you actually used it on Rock and Roller. That gives me a small break. See, look, look, if you looked at the difference, I'm actually pointing to the screen right now, even though you can't see my face. I am really smart. But seriously, look, the before Helping Hand, or well, with Helping Hand, it did way more than half damage, which is a lot of damage. And now it does like... Not even half. That is a difference. B-Barrel! Moody for its ability, simple on the clean version, but I'm not playing the clean version and I really haven't gone over it much before. I don't think I have to now. Uh, it is Moody for its ability, so on at every turn, 
One of its stats will be raised and one of its stats will be lowered. One of its rat stats will be raised sharply, the others will be lowered. So... Okay, so Retaliate, Curse, Aqua Tail, and Amnesia. This thing is an extremely defensive Pokemon. If you can take it out right away like I just did, thank god. Or no, there is no god, there is only Arceus. I mean, in this world. Yeah. Whoops! Totally meant that. Yeah, so if you're able to take it out quickly, do so. But then again, that could apply for all her Pokemon. Last up is her uh, primary Pokemon, actually. Uh, Watchog, again. Level 20. Citrus Berry, holding a Citrus Berry. Another one of her Pokemon holding a Citrus Berry. Analytic for its ability in this version, which I'm playing, which is the regular version. Meaning, if it moves last, it's... Its move will be powered if it goes last, but it's not moving last at all because it's really fast. It's a really bad ability, I don't know why it has that, but... Uh... Oh, well, I'm not one to complain if it makes it easier for me, right? And it's okay, Crystal, you serve me well. Uh, move sets. Move set. Hypnosis. Retaliate, Hypnosis, Super Fang, and Crunch. There we go. Yeah, this thing is a pain, especially if it can put you to sleep. Especially if it can put you to sleep. Because of that reason, it has a decent moveset, it moves really fast, and I really thought I was going to be able to take it out that with that one thing. But oh well, I can take it out next turn. Oh yeah, and I should go over something that I didn't go through about Retal- Oh shoot, that is bad, that is very bad, that is very bad- Oh god. Okay, Razor Blade, it's up to you, bro. Can you do this? Can you do this? I really hope you can. And how many times am I going to use a Pokemon that I'm not even planning to use through this playthrough? How many times will I have to use Pantsir? And how often? Maybe I should have just used Pantsir to get rid of those freaking citrus berries. That would make it easier on me. Oh well. Retaliate. Something I never went over. Retaliate is a move that does a ton of damage if you're out. If one of your Pokemon has fainted in the last turn. So that is why, and even then, it didn't do a lot on Pidgeotto, but that Rock Tomb, it did. So I actually don't consider Watchog a threat unless it wants to do something like, oh, Waterfalls, that's a great move, I will take out Water Gun for it. Unless it's like Hypnosis and it managed to hit you multiple times, which knowing my luck, of course it's going to hit me every single time it uses it. Uh, no matter how grim the situation, I'll use my research skills to, skills, <laughs> skills to find a winning strategy, yeah, I'm amazing. And we, you know what, here's what I say to your skills. Karate chop to the face. So your bull with an afro can go faint. Yeah, that's that's right, I said it. A bull with an afro. That is why it's called Bullfalan. And if I ever catch one, I really want to, I would actually, I have a really good name for it. That's one of the few times I actually have a good name for it. But we win with only Dewat standing. How annoying. But at least we won, so we get the basic badge, as which, as we can see, is quite the basic badge. That was totally not a pun. It actually wasn't a pun. Whatever. If you have two badges, trade a Pokemon up to level 30 can obey you. Not that it matters, because we can't trade here anyway. Should we give us a TM for Retaliate? A very useful move. And I might teach that to someone. Retaliate does a lot more damage if an ally fainted the turn before you used it. If you master the timing, you can defeat even strong opponents. Now, dear, dear, uh, I don't know. Pause, dear, come quickly. Team Plasma starting to steal, steal some bones, and we run into this freaking criminal syndicate again. RK, you come through. Wait, what? You defeated? Wait a minute. Okay, never mind. Wow, that's actually Team Plasma did something smart. They actually took advantage of good of bad timing because I have only one Pokemon left. Lenora has none, unless she magically got them to freaking. Or unless she had a ton of revives, but she didn't use it in battle. Now you wait, enough fooling around. So you've come, gym leader. We, Team Plasma, claim the museum's Dragon Skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. Team Plasma, to show we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. Well then, here's our smoke screen. Plasma, Plasma, and right before there are very eyes, they teleport and smoke and steal a dragon head. That would be really useful. And she steps forward very slowly. What's going on? BAM! She runs. Oh, uh, I thought that would be a lot faster than it was. Oh, oh, we have to go after them. 
Well, you guys can go after them. I'll just save in the museum and call it a day. So, well, we beat the Nat Green City Gym Leader. We got our second badge. We alert that Crystal has amazing defense, but then again, I already knew that, and I'm pretty sure everyone who's played Pokemon should know that rock types have amazingly good defense, but usually really bad special defense. At least that's how the stereotypical rock type is. And yes, I have set him out full. <laughs> So next time, we will be chasing after this dragon skull of hers. See you guys then.